Hi guys, welcome to Core Artisan Lab. So this is our twelfth video of our approach just application, and we are creating this application with Django and React JS. So in our previous video, we have worked on update functionality. Now in this video, we will work on delete functionality. So let's do this. So I have started my front end application, and I have also started my Django application. Now what we want to do. when user click on the john doe delete button then this john doe data will be deleted so what we need to do we will pass the primary id here in the delete button and with the help of primary id we will delete the john doe data this specific user data so let's do this the first thing we will do we will add here on click button so i have created this on click and this dot delete data so we need to create this function so we will create this delete data and we need to pass the id in this function pass the argument in this function so here in this in this uh, react js we can pass the argument like this so amp dot id and now let's let's show this id in the console so i will open the console and when user click on this delete then here you can see we have a 12 when user click on this delete then we have 13 now we will create and now we will request the server to delete this data with the help of delete method so i will open the add.js component and here what i will do i will copy this code i will copy the submit a form code and paste it in the delete functionality and here we will pass the id with backslash so this backslash is important when uh, when we uh, work in the rest api otherwise it will create the error now we will passing the id now we need to change this method we will change the method delete because it will not return the json data so we don't need this headers and we don't need to uh, convert this into json we just show this console we we just show, show the data whatever uh, the server has returned we will show this in console so let's see that refresh the page and i will open the console and when user click on this then it will show the response here you can see it is showing the response so it is not uh, generating any uh, json data from the server it is just uh, had a response so it means data has been deleted when user refresh this page then you can see here we have, we have only one data now we want to do when user delete this data then we want to refresh this list so what we will do here in this function in this data function in this promise function here i will check if data if the if, if the data will true then what we will do we will we will call this fetch data okay so that it will uh, it will uh, reload the current data so let's check this I'll refresh this let's add one more data i'll add john john and test email submit and make successfully the data has been entered now we will go to list and here we have a john user now when we click click on it here you can see we have deleted the data and uh, refresh the list so this is the delete functionality so we have created with this delete functionality with the help of uh, rest api django rest framework api and uh, with react js so uh, it's a uh, this is the last video of our django of our django react tutorial series uh, because we are we are creating the crud application and we have created it we have created the get and post updated and delete functionality so thank you for watching this video thank you so much 
and please if you don't sub if you didn't subscribe the channel then please subscribe and share this video and thank you thank you so much